Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Edge Slide tool. Now, the Edge Slide tool essentially allows us to grab an edge loop, which we can select by hitting um, Control, or rather Alt, and then selecting an edge. And then with the Edge Slide tool selected, we can actually click and drag to move that edge along the connected edges either up or down, and that'll just let us place it a little bit better. So if we wanted to, say, make this a little steeper, we could take these and push them up. And now we've gotten a bit steeper of a, of a climb here, a bit less smooth, all from the edge slide. We can also um, just kind of move individual edges just to make it seem like it needs to be placed a little bit better or what have you. Now, the Edge Slide tool also has on it a Vertex Slide tool. So say you've got a Vertex like this one that maybe you don't want exactly there. Well, you can move this Vertex along any of its four connected or if it had more connected edges uh, to kind of place that vertice a little bit better. Now, do be aware, though, once you have moved that vertice and then you try to move it again, those new edges will be in the same place. So you won't be able to take it back to where it was. This can be a pretty helpful tool though. Let's say we were trying to uh, make the these vertices cut the halfway point. We could then move them all the way up to one edge so that this edge is straight and then move it back again. And this time we'll just say 0.5. Um, of course it won't go along its respective edge. You can also move them if that's not going to work for you. Uh, you could remove them by just simply hitting GG and then hit 0.5 um, and it would more accurately place those vertices for you. So those are the edge slide tool and the vertex slide tool. Now along the uh, vertex selections, we also have the ability to kind of rip off regions or rip off edges. So basically, uh, you can hit the spacebar and then V or simply hit V in general to bring these options up. And let's say we don't want these connected anymore. So we can hit V and then move them off. And now we'll have these two edges uh, no longer connected. So now they are their own separate pieces and we could fill that in. Simply select the edges you would like to add a face to, hit F. Do the same thing here, hit F. Um, and then we might actually have to select everything and remove double vertices because there was an extra vertex up here. Then we can grab this, fill that, and extrude that over to the side. I don't know, maybe we're adding in a coffee spout. Who knows? Uh, but that's just something you can do. So this is a, that's a pretty useful tool if you're like, oh shoot, that shouldn't be connected or maybe I need to add in some extra information so you can rip off a region. So you also have the ability to rip an edge. Now what this means is it's not actually removing that edge per se, it's leaving the vertices in place and then moving the edge that was connecting them. So if we select this edge right here and we rip that edge away and we switch into vertex select, you can see that the vertices that were there are still there but the edge that connected them is no longer. So it's a bit like extruding where you're not putting the edge back. So I don't know when that would be useful, but that's a thing that you can do. And that's basically all of our mesh tools. We only have one more thing, and we will talk about the shrink and fatten and shear options in our next video. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in that next video.